Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Simple Way to Learn Energy Analysis and Arch Tips. Today I'm going to show you how you can find the weather data or EPW file for energy uh, and daylight suffers. Please don't forget to subscribe me uh, and uh, like this tutorial. It helps me uh, uh, to know uh, if this tutorial useful for you and, and also encourage me to make another tutorial and more tutorials for you. These three websites that I today I uh, introduce to you, I will introduce to you, uh, are completely free and so you can uh, you know download any information that you want and uh, uh, use on uh, that information those information on your uh, your uh, energy softwares so let first one is ladybug tools and the second one energy plus and the third one is uh, in same uh, website all of them is free as i told you Let's see uh, how you can use it and how you can find the weather data information. So the first one is uh, Ladybug. As you can see, uh, this is the word uh, map and uh, these little dots with a different color showing the weather data information for a specific location. You just need to click on them or you can add it the address, address here. So let's add uh, one address and see uh, how you can find the nearest weather data station or a nearest weather data information and download it. There is a two way that you can um, uh, use this website. One of them is downloaded uh, weather data uh, information and another one um, copy the link of the you know the, that weather data and add it to the energy software. Uh, it uh, depends on the softwares that you are using on it. Let's to find uh, the information for this uh, data. You just need to find the nearest uh, uh, weather data information to this address. Uh, the nearest information, uh, weather data information is this blue dot. You need just click on it, download the information or copy the link. As I told you, both of them, uh, you can bo use both of them and completely depends on uh, actually uh, the web uh, the software that you are using on it some of them work with the copy link and one of them uh, work, some of them work with the uh, epw file so uh, let's uh, see uh, another, uh, you know, website. This is the Enzymes uh, EPW map. Uh, this uh, website a little bit, I think, uh, better than Ladybug and Energy Plus because uh, somehow give you opportunity to check the weather data and find uh, which uh, weather data station uh, uh, that uh, you know uh, more works with your uh, location that you are planning to build your building because sometimes we have a location uh, that you know we have different weather data station around that location and we need to check which of them is more close and more accurate to your uh, uh, project and project location actually so let's see and show what I'm talking about that so uh, like uh, energy plus you can add the uh, you know the address here please uh, click on uh, the you know the address that the website showing you uh, for example uh, yeah just click on uh, the things that uh, website show you so you can see 
you just need to click on this uh, address and you can see a big circle, a uh, blue circle uh, and uh, the center of the, this circle is uh, your location of your project or the address that you enter uh, uh, to this uh, website and uh, you need to find the nearest weather, uh, weather uh, data station uh, that uh, close to your address. This is the location of the project and you can see these two weather data station. So one of them is Pasadena and one of them is El Monto. So let's see which of them more close to me, just uh, more better and more accurate to my project. Just need to click on them and click on this part and so you can see on that part it is the, uh, the you know the part that you can download all of um, weather data information and uh, also you can go down and see the information about the temperature solar radiation and also uh, wind direction it is a very useful website because you can check the weather, the wind uh, direction and uh, then choose this weather data station um, give you, uh, you know, correct or more accurate uh, weather, uh, weather data information that you can use to your project or you need to go around and find the other nearest weather data station that you give you the correct information about the wind direction or temperature or humidity or some that uh, some things like that some information like that so it means uh, this is this website give you opportunity to check the weather data information So even you can, you know, check heat map as well. This is other opportunity that you have. And even you can use this in your project, this uh, graphic uh, uh, and this graph and uh, tables uh, in your. From here, you can download the weather data information and uh, extract uh, actually um, EPW file and use it in your project. This is all information about our weather data information. We are using mostly on EPW file, but some special, uh, you know, analysis you need to set for and others as well. It's uh, completely depend on the uh, result and the energy modeling or energy uh, analysis that you want, but mostly on 90% uh, of uh, situation you need to EPW file uh, format. So let's check uh, here, uh, as I told you before, for example, this website give you opportunity to choose and compare between and, uh, weather data information uh, that you have in a weather uh, data station around your project and around the location that you are planning to build your building. So in that way, you can compare between the information and find which weather data, uh, weather data station works better and more give you more accurate uh, uh, actually information to you so let's check uh, we are checking um, yeah, Pasadena so let's check El Monto as well another closest uh, weather uh, data station to our project to our uh, location of our project so let's uh, check El Monto as well this is
So it was Pasadena and this is the information that we have from the Pasadena. Let's to check El Monto as well. So this is El Monto, just need to uh, check the information that we have from this area as well and see which one uh, more accurate to our location of our building. For example, here we have this uh, wind direction. So you just need to check. Uh, this is uh, this one, El Monto, you know, whether data information is more accurate or Pasadena wind direction is more accurate to, you know, your location. So it is the uh, one of the best uh, web free website that you give you opportunity uh, to uh, compare information and also you can use the 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 you know uh, the weather information wind uh, actually uh, information temperature information and use the graph and table that they have it is the you know another opportunity that this free website uh, provide for you. Just as I told you, you just need to click on the download it and choose one of them. For example, here uh, when we are close to the you know ocean, you can see uh, our weather data information uh, station are so close to each other. You need to just uh, uh, find the right weather data station and download the information from that part. Just another example that you can see. Uh, this is the last uh, website that I'm planning to introduce to you. It is the Energy Plus website. This is the oldest one and, and one of the more accurate websites that you can use it. Uh, but I think, I believe that this website mostly for people are more professional uh, or probably it's not works very well for beginners uh, because uh, you know somehow you need you you need to know the zoom uh, and probably it's a little bit difficult uh, to uh, for beginners but I introduce you because it's one of the things that mostly energy modeling use uh, you know uh, actually um, uh, use it so when you uh, enter to this and use this website you can see three part one part is view weather data some like that and one part is search weather data and one of them is the map you can use each one uh, and it's completely depends on you which of them you are more uh, comfortable for that uh, for using that for example uh, let's to you know check for example in that part go to the north and central america you can you know uh, it's completely dependent on location for example i'm um, just that uh, let's to choose and select usa and then go to the california for example if you know professional know the, uh, the zones of your location you can use that this one but if you don't know about the location of your project you can uh, the zone of your lo 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 your location of your project you need to go that and pick up um, you know one of these information according to the uh, your project location so let's to go and pick up Pasadena mm, so this one so you can see you can just 
uh, upload uh, as a all weather data information here or just upload it, uh, just download it, uh, download EPW file. It's completely up to you and the, uh, you know, energy software that you are using on it. As I told you, you know, more than 90% of energy, uh, uh, you know, energy uh, softwares need to EPW file. So this is the one way. Let's go to, um, you know, uh, work with this option, search weather data, for example, uh, Pasadena. Probably it's not going to work because we don't have exact for Pasadena. Pasadena, it's uh, combined with the order, uh, you know, location. So let's go uh, something unique, for example, San Diego. So just lead. you can see that you have the list of the, you know, San Diego uh, weather data information. It's uh, you need to choose one of them according to the, your location of your project, which of them closer to uh, your location. And probably if you are a professional uh, energy modular, you can find uh, them uh, very easily and very, fi uh, very fast. But uh, for beginner, I think a little bit probably it's uh, problemat uh, problematic uh, will be problematic but uh, I think in the you know uh, is the things that you can try at least if you are beginner so for example the let's go to uh, second op third option that we have just uh, browse on the map and uh, find uh, the weather data information that we want uh, sorry that we want actually So uh, that we want uh, to have that weather, uh, weather data information. So let's go to find, this is the Glenda, this is the uh, Alhambra, Arcadia, probably Pasadena will put, oh, is, this is Pasadena. Uh, you just need to uh, download EPW file and use it. This is the APW file of your, uh, you know, that you need uh, this one for your energy modular. If you are build a building here and do, and you want to have uh, the information about the weather. So as I told this website a little bit uh, for a professional energy modular, but if you are a beginner, Still, you can use it, and uh, Albert suggests to try. Uh, for example, this is the San Diego. You can just find the closest weather data station to your project, and you know, check and download it. Thank you. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial.